Hello, my name is Eva Speck. I am a medical doctor at the University Hospital Freiburg in Germany. I am also the first author of our manuscript titled FDG PET Imaging of the Infia Colliculi in Asymmetric Hearing Loss. This is the clinical featured article of the Journal of Nuclear Medicine in the month of March. The purpose of our study was to use the newest generation of fully digital clinical PET CT scans to investigate small brainstem nuclei. With the improved spatial resolution, this is possible with the new clinical PET scans. We define two regions of interest, the primary auditory cortex and the colliculus inferior. As a model, we used asymmetric hearing loss. We were especially interested in differences concerning ipsy and contralateral to the deaf ear. Here you can see an example of our PET imaging. Down here is the level of the brainstem, so the colliculus inferior, and up there the level of the cortex, with the region of interest, the primary auditory cortex. Over here we have a subject with the deaf ear on the left hand side and the better hearing ear on the right hand side. Therefore, we have to look on the contralateral side to the left side to see impact on regional FDG uptake by the deaf ear. In the level of the brainstem, we see an asymmetry between the ipsy and contralateral side to the deaf ear. There is less regional FDG uptake contralateral to the hearing impaired ear on the left hand side. The same asymmetry can be seen on the level of the cortex. Contralateral to the left deaf ear, we see less FDG uptake in the primary auditory cortex compared to the ipsilateral side. We could therefore see asymmetry in both our regions of interest, the inferior colliculi and the primary auditory cortex. Furthermore, we could see that there is a correlation between the duration of hearing impairment and the FDG uptake in the primary auditory cortex contralateral to the deaf ear. With longer duration of hearing impairment, there was more regional uptake in the contralateral primary auditory cortex. We believe that to be due to cross-model plasticity. Cross-model plasticity defines the takeover of cerebral space by other modules, for example the visual or the sensor motori. In conclusion, we were able to investigate the glucose metabolism of small brainstem nuclei. We can also predict that asymmetric hearing loss has a significant impact on the regional FDG uptake and also hearing impairment and its durations have a significant impact. This might be of clinical value for our hearing impaired patients because it might predict outcome after cochlear implantation. Furthermore, digital PET pushes the limits of what can be imagined. For example, neurological disease and neurologic degenerative disease in early course have effects on the small brainstem nuclei and the new fully digital clinical PET scanner could Im image this small brainstem nuclei. We like to thank our participants in the study, our founding source Taube Kinder Lernen Hören, the scholarship program Bertha Ottenstein and the Journal of Nuclear Medicine.